This is not financial nor professional advice. This video is for entertainment only. What would you like for Christmas, little boy? I don't know. I, I didn't know you were going to ask me that. Hey everyone, the Christmas rally has finally begun. Santa Claus came a little late, but he's, he's making up for it. it with a, with a good upward movement with the stock market and we're pretty excited about the whole deal but we're also excited about the future and the future technologies that are coming our way one that caught my interest was by a company called spin launch or the technology is called spin launch and the idea is they're going to use a gigantic centrifuge to get satellites going 5,000 miles per hour and then release them uh, into the atmosphere and they will they can reach uh, suborbital space having that much force behind them and then a, a booster rocket will take over and and get them uh, into orbital space uh, so it, it saves all kinds of fuel uh, so much so that Right now, it costs tens of millions of dollars uh, to launch satellites into space. And this will cost about half a million dollars once they get it perfected. Now, it's going to take them a couple of years to get this uh, uh, perfected. But it's really incredible. Uh, again, they go 5,000 miles an hour coming out of the centrifuge. And the satellites are subjected to 10,000 G, uh, 10,000 gravitational forces, uh, which just sounds like an incredible force. But they say that satellite uh, components can take this uh, much force. And they're going to use green energy uh, from the sun and the wind to, to save even more fuel. So this is uh, kind of like the ultimate green project for satellite launching and it saves a lot of money uh, and uh, I think it uh, takes some time they're doing it with prototypes that are smaller right now but to get that kind of force uh, for the 5,000 miles per hour they're going to need gigantic centrifuges uh, which is going to take them a couple years to, to develop. Google and Airbus are among the companies that are interested in this spin launch technology. And speaking of the future, it seems like you can't talk about the future without mentioning Tesla. I mean, you talk about satellites, you, uh, you have to mention SpaceX and Starlink. Uh, they are developing what's going to be worldwide internet, and they're going to have 12,000 satellites eventually. And other companies are trying to do much the same thing. Uh, so, you know, you wonder how many satellites can they, they have going up. I, I suppose they're getting smaller. Uh, so, uh, but I, I think space trash might get to be uh, a concern at some point, but they're, they're not now. Uh, I think there are a lot of small satellites. Amazon and Boeing are also interested in having their own similar uh, kind of network of satellites for different projects that they're working on. Next uh, big advance in the future and one that's very imminent is the lithium metal battery. Although I don't know if it, if it is that imminent. Right now QuantumScape is working on a solid state battery and solid state batteries, the idea of doing that goes back 40 years to like the 1980s. <laughs> so uh, this, I, this has been an idea that people have been trying to come up with. And the thing is, uh, it replaces the liquid in the battery with metal. And that's why it's, it's a solid state uh, battery. And QuantumScape has a contract uh, to deliver this solid state battery to Volkswagen, I think around the year 2025. Bill Gates and George Soros have also been very interested in QuantumScape. So they've got Volkswagen, uh, Soros, and Gates behind them. 
they have lots of backing and they more or less were given five years to, to come up with this. Uh, and they, so the money's there. Uh, they, they just have to come up with the battery. And the idea is that they think solid state will be able to deliver 80% more charge and that it will charge faster. Uh, and they think also there'll be less uh, probably problems uh, with ex uh, with fires and overheating. Now, uh, what I read is that Tesla's main engineers, they aren't all that excited about solid state batteries. Uh, uh, their main engineer on the, their batteries does not really think it, it's deliverable for the for a long time. And he's more or less they're more or less putting their faith in the 4680. And when, when I read the different things about the 4680, I don't see really what advantage the solid state battery is going to have over the 4680 other than overheating. Uh, that the fire and the heat thing is always a problem. Uh, and I think that's the big attraction of the solid state batteries. Uh, but Tesla's main engineer isn't so excited about it. And actually, the batteries are getting good enough now, even without the 4680s. I mean, I have 400 miles uh, of range with, with my Model S Tesla. Uh, so, you know, it, and, and Lucid came out with a range of 500 miles on, on their electric car. So I, I think range is getting to be less of a concern and the batteries they're coming out, out with are getting more range. Uh, so I, I think QuantumScape, I, I think that's a, uh, that's a long range. My, my cat is trying to encourage me on this video apparently, <laughs> or he wants to be fed, I, one or the other. Uh, probably wants to be fed more so. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I, I think that the 4680, is going to be the solution and provide plenty of range and a lot of the other advantages. And, and eventually they'll get the fire thing figured out. As I make this video, we're edging up to around 1100 uh, with Tesla. And I think it's going to be a big investment for me in uh, 2022. I think it's going to end up end the year at least at 1500. Uh, there is just so much going on with the addition of the gigafactories and all the the semi, uh, the cyber semi, the cyber truck. <laughs> you know, they got a roadster coming. Uh, they got so many projects coming and, and they, they can't fill the orders for what they are making. You know, uh, there's so much upside to this company. Uh, I think it's probably the investment of the decade. Uh, so. Uh, if you made it this far through the video, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe so that you receive future videos. I'll keep trying to make videos that have some value for you. Uh, we're coming up on a new year, 2022, and let's hope we can leave the flu behind and let the economy fly a little bit more. Uh, thanks, and I will see you in the future.